Tuy nhiên quán năng chúng nó vô cò đi ạ We have what we call a quadruple threat that we are facing in the name of conflict, hunger, flooding, and to which we can also add now COVID. Now, how are we able to work in an environment like that where the credible threat is increasing the level of vulnerability, making people much more poorer, and almost impossible for them to have the chance to get out of poverty and move toward a life that they can actually enjoy the fruit of the peace that is happening in the country. That's not possible if we don't deal with the underlying factor that we are facing. Chief Administrator Tabibo, Nina Kaya, Jesus Vitata, Yunumis, Walla, Jamaat. Thank you so much. It's important that these people come together and have this, this agreement because we know that in the fighting in the, in the, in over the last few months, it wasn't just happening on the ground in isolation to what was happening here. There were others that were supplying weapons and things that were, were, in, were fueling the conflict. So we need now to have an agreement here and that agreement we can be taken out into the around the around Jongle and we can and we can talk about peace and how we move forward. We have here with us the Minister of Information We feel that if we get this support, logistical support, financial support, political support, if we get all this support, we should be able to solve this problem. But if we don't, the catastrophe of it would be so great, which means that the entire country of South Sudan will go back into a war. And we don't want that to happen. Why don't we do it? You're a man of God. 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 You're a man of God.